All right, welcome to War Media Bears post game for week 12. After the Bears took the lead in the second on a By- Byron Pringle touchdown, 10 to 7, the Jets took off, scoring 24 unanswered on the way to a 31 to 10 win. So I am Saul Rodriguez along with my war colleague Joe Tanksley. Uh, what do you think about the game, man? Just initial thoughts on it. Uh, it went pretty much how, you know, I would expect it to go for the Bears. Um, mm. You know, I thought that, you know, Mike White would come in and struggle a little bit. But when you, you know, consider the Bears had Jaquan Brisker out and Kyler Gordon out as well. Uh, and then Eddie Jackson, who went out with an mm-hmm. injury during the game, seemed like, you know, it was a uh, uh, pretty easy pickings for Mike White in the, uh, in the New York Jets. And that's, you know, what the team needed. It was definitely a, a big boost for the Jets and the same old, same old for the Bears. Yeah, of course. And then, like, uh, kind of leading up to it, you know, we were in the pregame talking about, you know, Trevor Simeon and what, you know, how likely it was that he was going to start if, if Fields didn't. Obviously, Fields didn't play. And, uh, you know, you actually let me know, like, 30 minutes before the game that it was, be you know, Nate, uh, Nathan Peterman or Nate Peterman, right? And uh, uh, I was like, what? And then they flip-flop last second again to Trevor Simeon. So, I don't know. What, what did you think about that? What, did you think it was like a strategy thing? Like, what, you know, we talked a little bit about it before we came out. What did you think about that? Yeah, I, I do think it was some deception mm-hmm. and some misdirection by, you know, the, the Bears coaching staff in order to try to get them an advantage somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, stuff like that is, you know, kind of silly. But, um, you know, it, it, I guess it worked for the first few minutes of the game, mm-hmm. uh, kind of keeping them off, off balance like that. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the the New York Jets just, you know, are a more talented team, you know, and that's what the Bears face, you know, week in and week out. It's a more talented team. So, mm-hmm. you know, you try to do whatever you can to get an edge or some kind of advantage. Um, and it is what it is, <laughs> you know. You know, as silly as it may be, it is what it is. I mean, for some reason, coaches believe in it. And, it's, and the more old school the coach is, the more silly and uh, and unreasonable they get with these kinds of things, like hiding information about injuries mm-hmm. and things like that. So, um, and you know, Matt Eberflus is kind of you know old school in that regard. You know, with you know being co- close to best with that kind of information. Uh, but um, it is what it is. You know, I, I was really you know thought that you know Nathan Peterman was going to start. They said it. You know, he uh, Trevor Stephen had an oblique injury. He didn't look hampered or anything out there. So I was just you know, <laughs> you know, it, it it was just weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it kind of reminded me. Of, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, like Dusty Baker does that type of thing too, where like he'll won't name a pitcher for like a playoff game, like until like the night before, even though like a lot of teams mm-hmm. will name them like a couple of days before. It's just like, they always mm-hmm. just want to keep some things close to the vest all the time, especially in, in big games. But yeah, enough for the game like this. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. So, um, right. but uh, when it comes to Mike white, you mentioned him already, you know, after that opening drive, I was like, here we go. Cause he went six for seven, had the touchdown and it really was a sign of things to come. Cause he, uh, you know, threw for 315 yards, three touchdowns. You know, uh, were you surprised or how surprised were you, I should say? Like, what what did you think about his performance? You know what? I wasn't surprised at all because that's what the Bears have done mm-hmm. this year as far as on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, and this is a kid that's very capable. Um, he, he, he proved it last year. Uh, I know a lot of people in New York don't feel like, you know, he's been really, really given a shot to play because, you know, Zach Wilson was drafted as the franchise quarterback. Uh, but it looks like down the stretch for the New York Jets that he's going to get a you know a real solid chance to you know go play and, and help the team you know on this playoff push. Um, Zach Wilson wasn't performing, uh, wasn't able to take accountability the way he should have as a franchise uh, starting QB, and now it's on to Mike White, which was the right move for the team to make. Yeah, no, he he will definitely get an opportunity, especially with how things are going for them. I mean, they're playoff hopefuls so i mean they'll, they'll and uh you know with the way things are going it looks like they have a good chance to be there um and then uh, on the other side trevor simeon you know it, when you look at his numbers 14 for 25 178 yards touchdown interception if you show me those numbers today and didn't tell me who the bears quarterback was i would have been like oh did justin fields play because it was very similar uh, besides the rushing obviously he's always going to put up rushing numbers but um what did you think about trevor simeon's uh, efforts today and overall though 
You know what? I, I think that uh, Trevor Simeon, you, you know, did, did his best as he could. You know, the Bears really missed the playmaking from Justin Fields, and it was evident. Mm-hmm. You know, you go from scoring 30 points per game, and now you only can score 10. Uh, you know, while the you know the Jets defense, you know, is is very good. You know, you know, you can imagine, you know, Justin Fields going out there and you know being able to have some success out there. You know, just with his sheer talent and you know playmaking ability. Um, I do think that uh, you know watching Trevor Simeon, he was more willing to you know trust the system and you know get the ball out of his hands and you know for the most part you know his the receivers did a pretty decent job of making some plays of catching some very bad balls that first mm-hmm. touchdown to By- Byron Pringle that was that was a bad throw <laughs> <laughs> but you know Byron Pringle was able to make an unbelievable catch you know and they scored a touchdown and, you know Byron Pringle you know. He kind of stood out to me because he, you know, he was targeted a few times. With you know, he came down with some tough throws. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think you know he he deserves an opportunity, to, you know, to get some more more balls thrown thrown his way. And it might happen, you know, with you know Mooney going down in the game with an injury, and you know it looked like Claypool was kind of dinged up as well. So uh, you know, I think Byron Pringle, you know, acquitted himself well. You know, coming with the, coming up with some tough catches. Uh, in some really key situations in this game, um, I was happy that you know they you know they uh, kind of unlocked Claypool a little bit and got him some you know throws downfield. He was able to make a big catch that mm-hmm. you know the first target in the end zone. You know Sauce Gardner, but I felt like you know Sauce Gardner got away with some pass interference uh, in that regard. So it seemed like you know he was more in the mix this game, um, and, and you know hopefully you know he's healthy come next week and you know he can build on that. Yeah, no, and um, what's up with it? Yeah, all these injuries, man. I mean, football is a game of you know, you know, UFC injuries well, every week, but that's a well, lot. It, it was it was pointed out that uh, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure it was you who it was you who pointed out or somebody mm-hmm. who pointed out. I think it was Kyle actually. Kyle mm-hmm. means pointed out that uh, MetLife Stadium is one of these stadiums that got that controversial field turf issue, where mm-hmm. you know yeah. the NFL, yeah, the, the NFL PA is kind of like, you know, this is bad <laughs> yeah and so you know and we saw it a few times you know with guys getting dinged up uh eddie jackson you know he was having a really good season um as a person who's torn both of his achilles it looks like an achilles you know mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not in the medical tent i'm just going <laughs> off an experience and what it looks like and i've seen it <laughs> and i've been there <laughs> and so hopefully it's not but that's my initial gut reaction Oh man, yeah, that would be that would be rough. So we'll we'll see what happens there. And plenty of plenty of injury updates gonna have, need to be uh, released. Uh, but some po- at least some positives. I mean, like you know, Jack Sanborn once again. You know, uh, the Lake Zurich native man. You know, fifteen uh-huh. total fifteen total tackles, uh, ten solo, one for loss. Uh, what do you think about his performance? I mean, that was when he was one of the only bright spots in this one. You know what? I mean, <laughs> it's it's hard to say that anybody on that defense had a, had a bright <laughs> bright spot, but he, uh, yeah. he, but you know he plays hard and he gets in position. He's where he's supposed to be to make to make plays, and that's all you ask. Um, I think uh, with a player like him, he's you know he's he's playing hard. He's really living up to that hits principle. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and he's you know earning an opportunity to be here next year. And that's what, you know, th- this opportunity is for a lot of those guys uh, on that defense. You know, you got a lot of guys with one-year deals, prove-it deals, uh, a lot of cast-offs uh, that are, you know, playing for another opportunity. And- yeah, and uh, and also, uh, you know, next week it doesn't get any easier. You know, look, the, we get it. The Packers are not who they always are. But compared to the Bears, they're still, you know, a threat in general because especially if we don't have uh, fields, the fields don't play next week. Um, and you said it before we came on, you know, I'm sure Fields will try, you know, to, to play for, play in this one. Uh, but what what do you expect for next week's, you know, matchup between uh, the Bears and the, and the four and seven Packers? Well, you know what? The, the, the Packers are having a season that they did not expect to have. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, everything is not right in Green Bay. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, the Packers are used to having success against the Bears, and they're going to come in and, you know, do what they always do, win. Uh, it's up to the Bears and the coaching staff to come up with a game plan to, to you know, to kind of change the tide a little bit, uh, you know. And so I, I think that 
the the Bears, you know, they they've been in, you know, they they play hard, you know, to the end of the game, and I think that uh, they're always going to have a shot. You know, mm-hmm. it, it'd be interesting to see if Justin plays in that game or not. He might be chomping at the bit to get get out there since, you know, going out there to try to you kind of rectify that a little bit. Um, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, he's healthy enough to play. But if he's not, you know, it's all it's, it's better to be you know more ca- more cautious than not, especially, you know. You know, this team is not a team that's playing for a playoff position. Really, you know, the health of the quarterback is the most thing that they have at stake right now. Now, if he can play, he should play. But Mm -hmm. if he's injured and he has a chance of making it worse, just sit him. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, there's no, there's no like you know we said before. There's no reason he should be out there, and and especially with the season going like this and Bears being three and nine, really no point. Uh, but that's a good place to wrap things up for this week, man. Uh, for the War Media Bears post game, uh, I want to thank Joe Tansley for joining me, and we will see you next week. Peace.